J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe. This problem appears at the qualifying examinations for applicants for Japanese government or MEXT scholarships 2020. This problem is from the 2020 College of Technology Mathematics questionnaire. The answer key and the original questions are linked in the description. Calculate the infinite series for the sequence a sub n defined as follows. A slight rearrangement of the given. Would reveal that we in fact have a geometric series. A sub n is a geometric sequence. And so, to solve this, we just need to find the common ratio and the first term. In this case, the first term is quite clear, so we just need to rearrange this to find the common ratio. A geometric sequence or a geometric progression is one that follows this pattern. There is a first term here we denote it a sub 1, and the succeeding terms are obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a common ratio which we call r. Here, the second term is the first term times r, the third term is the second term times r, and so on. In the geometric sequence or progression, The nth term can be obtained using this formula. The geometric series S sub n associated with a geometric progression or geometric sequence is the sum of the terms of the geometric sequence from the first term to the nth term. We denote it using this summation notation. And this can be computed using this formula. If r Or the common ratio has an absolute value less than 1, then we can take n to approach infinity and obtain a value for the infinite geometric series, which can be computed using this formula. However, if the absolute value of the common ratio is greater than 1, then the infinite geometric series does not exist. For example, If we have this geometric progression, then the first term is 1, and the common ratio is 1 third. The nth term of this sequence is this, which we obtained by substituting the first term and the common ratio into this formula. The geometric series for this sequence or progression can be obtained by substituting the first term. And the common ratio into this formula. This is what we obtain. Now, the common ratio is one third, and the absolute value of one third is less than one. Therefore, the infinite geometric series exists, and we can compute it by substituting the values here. And when we do that, we see that for this progression, The infinite geometric series is this value here, three halves. Let us now rewrite the given. Again, the first term is already given to be 2. Now, if we rewrite this second given so that on this side we have a sub n plus 1, the other side would be negative 1 half of a sub n. That means that if we have the term a sub n, Then the next term must be a sub n times negative one half. And that means this is in fact a geometric sequence with a common ratio of negative one half. That means you multiply negative one half to the term to get the next term. And that's definitely the definition of a geometric sequence. And so we now have our common ratio. Now we just have to plug in. The values of a sub 1 and r into the formula for the infinite geometric series. And that is, and this is that formula. So a sub 1 is 2, and here r is negative 1 half. And so if we simplify this, we get 4 thirds. If you learned something new today, please help my channel by clicking the subscribe button and the bell for the notifications. See ya!
J ハット塾。Please hit subscribe.